What's up everybody, Feels Bad here, and we are back with another episode of the Edmonton Oilers GM mode, and look at this, we are in the playoffs. After the trade with the Nashville Predators to acquire UC Soros, our team was insane. I mean, look at these point totals, right, just to reiterate. 101 points for Taylor Hall, 49 goals as well, almost a 50 goal man, and 52 assists. Then we look at Connor McDavid as well. I mean, 97 points. I mean, he does that in real life. 34 goals, though, and 63 assists. Like, you know, this whole first line. And Leon you know, Dreisaitl, 94 points. He's a 30-goal man with 64 assists. But look at that plus-minus. Last year, and like, look, he's a minus 7, a plus 4, a minus 9, and now he's a plus 34. Okay, this team's killing it right now. The rookie, Toby Castles, 35 goals and 24 assists for 59 points in his rookie year. Damn, like 35 goals in your rookie year. That's insane. And his 222 shots, beautiful. What I really love is his giveaways, takeaways. 50 takeaways, 41 giveaways. That's what I like to see from Toby Castles. Nuge, I remember the Nuge having an okay year. What? Okay, sorry. Whoops. Giveaway takeaways, 55 to 45. Beautiful. But he's a 60-point man, right? You know, he kind of got there. He started to get more points, right? He went to from 48 to 46. He had it down here. Then 52 to 60. But what I really like, he's a plus 6. He's a plus. That's what's really important here. Arvinson, again. Like, I'm not going to go through everyone, but you see what I'm saying. Like, he was a 20-goal man. You know, with 64 points. It's just this whole team is producing. Even the defense is doing well. Plus 25 with 36 points for Clefbaum. Larson. Whoops. Larson. He was a plus 22 with 13 points. 13 points is not that good, but plus 22. You know, it's just impressive. And then if we look at UC Soros, I don't know, he didn't have the best year, but it, it was something to keep us, you know, in the hunt. It was something to keep us fighting, right? 918 is a lot better than 893 or something like that. What did Cam Talbot finish with? All right, he, he turned it around a little bit. Um, but still, we're, we're producing a lot better. So, another point I want to iterate. I am not afraid to bring up, what is it, Mikal? I think it's Mikal. Mikal Smirnov from the AHL, right? He's 82 overall. He started the year at 73 and he grew to 82. That he grew 9 overall in 1 year. I am not opposed to bringing him up as our ace in the hole. Um but before we get into it, let's just kind of look at who we are going up against, the St. Louis Blues boys. So, let's take a look at these lines against the Blues in round number 1, shall we? So, oi. <laughs> 88 overall, Jaden Swartz. Okay, he had an okay year. Not spectacular. Ryan O'Reilly. He, I mean, again, like our first time blows him out of the water, though. He had a decent year, though. Vladimir Tarasenko. I would imagine he'd have a stellar year. Yeah, 58 goals. Yeah, he, he had a stellar year. Okay, all right. Well, that's a little scary. But let's see. Robbie Fabry, how did you do? Minus four. To finish the year, minus four, 44 points. Uh, you know, I, I really don't know. I mean, 50 points, yes, but it's just like, I'm not really too concerned. Minus seven, he finished the year. Like, David Perron. So, it's just, I don't really know. But they're deep. They are a deep team, and that's what I'm worried about. With Vladimir Tarasenko, and they have a deep squadron. With Alexander Steen, Jordan Cairo... Uh, he did okay, right? But it's just they're deep. Ivan Barbashev as well. Like, they're just a deep team. I mean, look at their fourth line. They have Klim Kostin, right? Klim Kostin, Robert Thomas, and Tyler Balsack. You know, it's just like they have a deep forward core. Defensively, Petrangelo and Perenko, right? I'm. It's pretty good. It, it's pretty good, especially with per, uh, Petrangelo, right? 55 points, that's big. Edmonton, Jake Wallman, Jay Bowmeister, and Vince Dunn. Yeah, so it's just they don't have a real, like, their top two pairing is good, but they kind of drop off. Uh, it's definitely better than ours. We don't have a Petrangelo-type defenseman to help us out. 
but they have been playing well, so hopefully they continue to play well. And as far as goalies, yeah, 89 overall Jake Allen. How did he finish the year? Yeah, okay, with a 9-2-9 save percentage, yeah, that that's that's good. That You know, that's what you'd expect. It's going to be, can our offense, explosive offense, score more than they score on us? Because we, we're an offensive team. We have to outscore the other team. It's not like we can really rely on defense or goalie. We have to just blow their doors off with offense. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it, boys. All right, so like I said before, if Mikhail Smirnov might be making his NHL debut in this playoff round, we don't know. So first game in Edmonton. Don't upset the fans here. First period, zero zero. Shots are eight to four or fourteen to eight. Them. Come on, boys, get more shooting. Second period, and they get one. Oh. Vladimir Tarasenko. Oh, come on, boys. Where's my first line? You guys put in so many goals in the regular season. We got to find a way past Jake Allen. Come on. We can tie it up. It's only one goal. Ten minutes left to go. Come on, boys. Work it out. Grind it out. Come on. First line. McDavid, be the captain. You have the C, but are you really the captain? Are we going to get shut out in game one? All right, well... Screw me, I guess. I say this is going to be an offensive series, and yet we're down one nothing in the series after a one nothing loss. We'll go into the next game. If we don't score in the next game, serious line changes. Because, I mean, UC Soros played a good game. He only let in one goal. One goal. Come on, boys. We With three freaking first liners with 90-plus points, come on, boys. We got to score. First period. And we don't score again. Colton Perenko. The defense is scoring. Come on. Shots are 11 to 8. Uh, so we're out shooting them now. Maybe we'll wake up. Second period. Oh my god. My freaking god, boys. Come on. Oh. Gene Schwartz and Vladimir Tarasenko. Power play for us. Can we get it? No. Oh my god. Are we going to get shut out in the first two period, first two games? Full six periods that Jake Allen's going to have a freaking shutout. Are you kidding me? Oh my... Okay. Wow. All right. We get one. We broke the seal. Okay. Oh, Taylor Hall. Uh, can we get third one? Ugh. Too little. Too late. Yeah, but serious line changes. I mean, we lost both games at home. But we finally scored, right? Do I trust the lines? Because now they figured out Jake Allen. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I really don't. All right. Who likes to play with who? Now we got to play that game. Who likes to play with who? So Taylor Hall, you like to play with? Everly. <laughs> oh, well, that's sad. Uh, McDavid, fine. You like to play with Hall, fine. You like to play with Nuge. You like Nuge. Move castles up. Can you play with Nuge and Arvidsson? That didn't work in the year, though. Move Arvidsson up, and we'll keep castles there, and we'll move Nuge onto the right. We'll see how that goes. Defensively, I think we're okay. I mean, there's nothing I can really do. Goalies. I mean, Saros is playing well. Come on, boys. Yeah, it's not yet for Smirnoff. It's not yet for Smirnoff. We're not bringing Smirnoff up yet. Not yet. All right. We're in St. Louis. Can we tie... Not even tie up the series. Bring it into within the one game. Come on, boys. First. Period. Okay. Juju Arquiaria, the fourth line. Shots are 16 to 11 then, but we got the, we got the first goal. Come on, boys. Second period. Okay, Steen got one, but that first line with Arvidsson gets one as well. Come on, boys. We got to close out this game. This is a big, big game. This changes the whole series. Come on. You see Sara standing on his head, even though I don't want to say that because I feel like I just jinxed myself. Come on. Close out the game. One minute left. Oh. 
thank God. Thank freaking the Lord. And Arvidsson gets the game winner. All right. All right. So, so far, the road team has won every game in this series. Come on, boys. I'm scared. I'm really scared. We're sticking with the same lines that got us a win. First period. Okay. McDavid and Taylor Hall. Thank you. The first line starting to come alive after the line changes. Kyrou gets one as well. All right. Second period. Okay, Taylor Hall gets another one, but Fi Fa uh, <laughs> Fabry and Kairou get goals as well. We are being outshot by five. Come on, boys. This is a big game to tie up the series. Power play for the Blues, and they score. Vladimir Tarasenko. Jesus freaking Christmas. Oh, my God. Why? Why are we going to take penalties? We already have enough trouble scoring. Oh, uh, is that going to be all she wrote? Yeah. Okay, so we are now down 3-1 to one in the series going back home. Oh, my God. Oh, my freaking God. Well, I guess we can bring up Smirnoff. Didn't their playoffs start? Their playoffs might have started. Did your playoffs start? It might have. Wait, let's see. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm pressing every wrong button. Uh, did your playoff start? No, you qualified, though. Your playoffs are about to start. I said I would bring up Smirnov, though. This is this is the time. This is the time for Smirnov, right? I think this is the time for Smirnov. So, Smirnov, come on up here. Where you're making your big debut at the NHL level, baby. We're just going to do best lines down here. And then, yeah, that should be fine. That's fine. That is fine. Except, put Sloan up there. Not Sloan. Sloan up there. Fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, I need to adjust the... NHL lines now because we are putting in Mikhail Smirnov. This is your moment, kid. We're gonna put Castles up here. We're gonna take out Sorensen. We're gonna take out. Yeah, we're gonna take out Sorensen. We're gonna put in. Smirnov, there he is. Mikhail Smirnov. We're going to give the kid a chance here. And we are going to do this. I want center depth. So we're going to have center depth down the middle. All right, this is what I'm going for. Who has the better faceoffs? Jamel. So Jamel will rock this line. We're going for center depth here. Um, let's see these lines, because this is this is just to try to... We're really just trying to win face-offs here. So come on, boys. We're really trying to get that puck possession. We're going back into Edmonton. Make this a series, okay? Can we please make this a series? That would be nice. So let's sim up to this game. Come on, boys. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Take it easy, take it easy. Here we go. First period. 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots are 14 to 8 them. Come on, boys. Please. I need a hero. Second period. Come on. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Drake Kajula and Robbie Fabry score. Alright, come on. They're out shooting us. I need a hero, boys. Power play for the boys. Come on. It's a long one. We can't get it done. Oh, 10 minutes left. Come on. Ivan Barbashev scores with 10 minutes. And Kyrie... Ryan Grupp. I mean, he makes it a game, but we're not going to tie it up, are we? Oh my god, Taylor Hall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ryan Grupp, you beautiful bastard. Oh my god. Okay, it's a game now, boys. I want to go into it and show you it. 
but every time I do that, my game glitches. So, unfortunately, we're just going to be stuck out here with times 8 sim. Here we go, boys. I need to put the controller down. It is in the fate of the game. Oh, oh my god, who did it? Leon Dreisaitl! Oh my god. And we live to fight another day. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. We have a series now. I'm not changing the lines. I know we won an OT, but they won. Alright? Maybe this is some momentum. So we're still alive here. Because of Ryan Grupp indirectly. <sighs> okay, boys. First period. Don't let me down. Okay, there we go. Arvinson and Jamel Smith. Oh, my God. After Tarasenko gets an early one, the boys fight back. We're out shooting them 12 to 6. Second period. They tie it up. Robert Thomas. We're still out shooting them 20 to 15. Come on, boys. Work that magic again. Work that magic. The controller is down. 15 minutes left. Come on, boys. I need a hero. I need a... Oh, my God, Ty Ratty. I was going to take you out of the... What the fuck? <laughs> I was going to... Oh, my God. I was, I was trying to congratulate Ty Ratty because I said I was going to take him out of the lineup. Then he gets a big goal, but we might be going to OT again. Two minutes left, and we're going to overtime again. I'm so nervous to press the X button. I am so freaking nervous. Okay, boys. This is your moment. You got one shot, baby. One shot. I'm pressing the button. This is for all the fans in Edmonton. Overtime. Controller's down. I press the button. <laughs> oh, my God. I see the blue. I see the blue. I see the blue. Who was it? Brady Shen. Fucking, fucking Jesus. We out shoot them 33 to 25. And this is what fucking happens? Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. I fucking hate this team. Fuck you, Edmonton. Just fuck you.